me. Tonight for dinner, I am making a slow cooker lemon chicken and um, I'll post the pictures on Facebook. I couldn't do it all right now just because I have to get ready for work and um, I figured I would just do the last steps and then show you like what exactly I'm doing. So what I've done, I've got my slow cooker behind me and um, I have lined the bottom of the slow cooker with a red onion. I basically sliced it and layered the slices at the bottom of the slow cooker. On top of the slow cooker, I have I, I purchased a package of chicken thighs, and so I just layered the chicken thighs over the onion. And then um, what you want to do is you want to get big. Technically, well, you want to get baby potatoes, um, but you know, and then you kind of just cut those in half, add them in there. Um, get like a pound, pound and a half of baby potatoes. Um, I use regular potatoes just because a five-pound bag is two bucks, whereas a pound of baby potatoes is like three bucks. You do the math. Um, it's just, I, I just, I take, you know, about maybe four medium-sized potatoes and just kind of cut it into um, a little bigger than one inch cubes. I wanna say I just kind of, uh, just cut it up and just throw it in there. Um, I'll show you what that looks like in just a bit. Right now I am topping everything off with the final touches, which are, um, some, you, you need a lemon. You want to um, use lemon zest and the lemon juice itself. So you want to um, you know you want to juice the lemon. Um, you also want to use two tablespoons of honey, two tablespoons of olive oil, half a tablespoon of thyme leaves, and um, four garlic cloves. I cheat. I don't like to mince garlic cloves, so I just buy minced garlic. Just use like a couple of teaspoons of that um, works just as well anyway so I've got we're starting with the lemon I basically got the zest here's my lemon I'm gonna juice that in just a second the lemon zest is already in my bowl as you can see there um, actually the lemon last um, so you want to use a half a tablespoon of, um, of thyme leaves so I'm gonna go ahead and and add that right now I'm actually just taking a full tablespoon and just putting, putting it about halfway <laughs> that's how I measure stuff because I'm not good at math. Just kidding. I, well, I mean, no, I'm not kidding. I'm not. But anyway, um, so here's my time. I'm gonna add it to the lemon zest. Uh, now, take um, my garlic. As I said, uh, it asks for uh, four cloves minced. So I'm just gonna take like two teaspoons here and just add that to my little mixture here. Garlic is a very strong smell, so anyway, so I've got that in there. Um, now I am going to add my honey and olive oil, so I'm going to take two. So here's what I've got so far. Um, now I'm adding my two teaspoons of, of olive oil. And so I'm sorry, two tablespoons of olive oil. So that's going in there. And then I'm adding two tablespoons of honey as well. So I don't know. It doesn't. I just get. I just have like this Lone Star honey, which you can get at any H E B store. It's yeah. It's cute. It's like a little bear. And that's the reason I buy it is because it's fucking cute. I'm just kidding. I actually bought it because it was it wasn't that expensive. <laughs> anyway, and I don't use honey very often for anything, except maybe in my coffee. And I want to thank Kaylee for that. Kaylee, Kaylee, Antonia, shout out to you because I uh, will use honey in my coffee now, thanks to you and your famous iced coffee that you used to make me. Um, so I've added my honey, and now for the final touch. I'm going to juice my lemon. It looks so cool when it squirts. Not in a sexual way, I'm just saying it's, I don't know. Forget I said that. All right. So now that you've got everything in your, in your bowl, what you want to do is just go ahead and 
pretty much just mix it up. So while I'm mixing it up, um, I found this, I believe, I don't know if I found this recipe on allrecipes.com, but again, shout out to them because they have the most amazing, easy thing. Anytime I look up like easy something recipe, easy chicken recipe, easy beef recipe, whatever, um, all recipes always have some, has some good shit and they're usually the first ones that pop up. So, um, you know, just, um, if you get bored or you're trying to figure out what to make, you know, you can, um, Google it and find a lot of, find a lot of good stuff in there. Uh, so, I've got like my little mixture here now. Oh, no, you can't see it from that angle. Um, you know, give me one sec. All right, so here is what I've got so far. That's actually my um, chicken and potatoes and all that good stuff. And now I'm gonna add this stuff. So, hang on. Uh, 